one of the world's most beautiful destinations, Hawaii boasts picturesque landscapes that seem as rich as the island's long history. The sights of the surrounding seas have also been an attraction for many throughout the centuries. One group in particular has recently been drawn to Hawaii's mighty waters. However, sight had nothing to do with their attraction. It was blind ambition. Meet the Blindsiders, a group of blind men from Southern California who have assembled to be the first blind paddling team in Hawaii's Queen Liliokalani Outrigger race. They have recently established the Orange County Makapo Aquatics Program, a nonprofit group with the sole purpose of creating awareness for the need of blind team sports in America. The Orange County Makapo Aquatics Project is a nonprofit uh, corporation in California, and what our mission is is to try and help blind and visually impaired athletes see their potential. Last year was such a great experience for all of us, and it. it for, for myself, it changed my life. Um, I was just dealing with losing my vision. It, for me, that was the first time that I really felt alive again, where I knew I could be part of something, and I knew I could be part of a team. This is quite a challenge, as you can imagine. Not being able to have perfect sight uh, is a bit of a handicap when you're paddling in the ocean. So I was a little bit concerned at the beginning, but as the time goes on, you get to know the guys, and uh, they just don't quit. They're just awesome. Our goal is basically to build on what we accomplished last year uh, as the first blind team to compete in the Queen Lulu Kalani race. Our long-term goal is, is to open the eyes of blind youth um, in Southern California to the benefits of, of paddling sports, not only outrigger canoeing, but also um, dragon boat racing and, and kayaking. There's one thing worse than failing, and that's not trying, because if you fail and try, at least you know what your boundaries are, but if you never try, you'll never leave the house, you'll stay home, you won't do anything because you're afraid of failing. If you can't do it, at least you tried. Uh, that's much better than not trying at all. And I just think the cause is special. Uh, doing this for the blind and visually impaired community, especially for the kids to create these opportunities to enjoy outdoor water sports. Well, basically being a seventh grader with the impairment that I have, I can't do sports that well. He's not able to play basketball or softball or baseball. Getting him involved in, in this kind of um, sport, he's just, he's thrilled with the overwhelming sense of confidence that he's getting just because he's able to go out and do something like this. And this is the start of something special. This is about the future of the blind youth that are going to make a difference in this world. Basically, you have to have confidence. You can't stop believing in yourself. There are blind people, individuals who have done things. They've climbed, they've done marathons, they've done the Ironman. But I don't believe there's ever been a blind team that competed side by side with a sighted team in, in any sport ever. And this is what the, the, the blind youth need to know. They can do this. This is not proof of them to be some to do something special. I know we're the only blind boat amongst all those uh, other boats, and you know I feel like we're just as good as them, and I feel like we can compete just as easy as them, and so I don't think we should have any problem at all. We're just as good as anybody else. We want to open up the sport to countless other blind youth in Southern California, and so. The Blindsider team is just the first step in, into opening the eyes of, of blind youth to what they can achieve and, and what they can accomplish and what they can benefit from from participating in paddling sports. 150 men's boats today. That's a lot. You ever heard of blind paddlers out there? Never. Pretty impressive. In an ideal world, I would love to be able to take our own boat over there because we experienced last year that we were in a women's boat that wasn't rigged for guys. And hence, we're a little bit larger than women, and hence, it was very <laughs> unsafe. But we made it, thank God. But ideally, one day, wouldn't it be nice to be able to take our own boat that we're training to Hawaii to allow not only us to race, but perhaps a women's team or maybe a youth team? Your tax-deductible donation will help us cover all the costs for this year's race. Those costs include training here in Newport Beach, flight so that we can get our team to Hawaii, lodging, race entry fee, and also um, just to rent a boat. Also, finally, we're documenting our efforts this year 
uh, and we're bringing out a film crew with us and hopefully we can uh, capture everything that uh, we're talking about into one great movie or DVD so that you can see just what we're accomplishing and what we're trying to do for the blind community.